Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I figured I would come on today and show you where I'm at with my Cozy Fall Harvest um, journal. This was the digital coll collection that I released back in October for fall. And uh, it's available in my Kofi shop, which is linked down below. Or you could get it at Etsy. Um, if you missed yesterday, I did release the Christmas Memories. This one is a 52 page digital kit, has uh, 10 half pages, right? Those are your folding journal pages. It has uh, five full page landscape scenes, three line and three blank pages, um, four fussy cut pages, two plaid all purpose pages, and about 24 pages of pockets, tags, and more, and one word page. <clears throat> that is still available. There are some copies still free in my Etsy shop. It's something that I do here on YouTube. I'm sorry, on my Kofi shop. It's here, something that I do here on YouTube as a thank you for all of your support, kind words. Um, and don't worry, if the 25 go, I don't know, in a day, I'll start to increase the number to make it fair. But you will want to connect with me maybe turn on notifications um, if you haven't noticed I do release video um, digital kits on the first Monday of every month so there you have it um, so here this is where I'm at with my cozy full harvest I had this fabric in my stash for a while I believe my I don't know if I bought it in a in a live sale or if it was gifted to me or uh, my daughter gave it. I don't know. I don't know where I got it. <laughs> but it's so pretty. Um, fields, you know, green. I just like it. I did a little bit of a wonky stitch, and I do want to come back. And um, lately I've been using all my fabric. <laughs> just want to use the fabric. Um, I'm going to reinforce that. I do have... Um, cardboard in between this is a bubbled mailer which I love the feel of that makes it moldable but I did want to reinforce the spine so I added a piece of um, cardboard there still want to add my closure I was thinking of just doing like swirls not sure um, I do want to add some fabric um, pockets um, but I have to dye this. This is just a little too white for me. So I was thinking of that or I don't know if I want this for the to cover the stitching on the spine. Not sure, but I do know I have to dye it. And then my signatures. Um, someone asked me, sorry, I don't remember how I do them so fast. Um, I do work. I have a nine to five. Um, I am in the middle of opening a new store in Mount Kisco. So all you Mount people in Mount Kisco in New York, we got a store coming um, to you on Moger Avenue. Um, and um, these days are gonna be like really labor intensive, right? We have to pack out the store, set it up, make it all beautiful. Um, and that's the hard part. After that, you know, it becomes easy, but. Um, I have a process. Maybe I'll do a series on my channel. Let me know if you want to see on how I um, get to crank them out so fast. So this is a, one of the tags, and I just collaged some leaves that I had and some of the fussy cuts. And then did the whole reinforces this time. I know this is going to be a booklet. And I just start filling. I don't, I back up some uh, tags. These are the um, scrap paper packs that we get from Dollar Tree. So you can see I use those. Loki, my darling. And um, what that does is it gives me, first of all, contrast, but it also lets gives me a, a blank base to start building and um, decorating so I start just laying out my pockets figuring out do I have a good balance do I have a good contrast in color I know there's gonna be a belly band there Loki my darling sweetheart 
Good morning. Ooh, he didn't like that good morning. And then I just start, you know, decorating. And then I did a watercolor, totally inspired by Rhonda Junk Journal Diva. She was doing these uh, watercolor mushrooms. They made me pull out my watercolors and actually made me go buy some uh, watercolor paper. And um, I went with the fall colors because I knew I wanted to use it here. My intention was to die cut some leaves. That was my intention. I think I actually have the leaves here. Maybe not. I thought I did. And then I just ended up cutting it up into tags. <laughs> I actually have another one um, that I did. Oh, maybe not in the book. But um, it's around here somewhere. I know I did too. Uh, da -da, da -da, maybe not. Did I not take it out? No, it's not in here. Oh well. But I know I did do too. And I just started cutting them up so I can start building and decorating. Uh, here's more of that paper from from um, the paper packs from Dollar Tree. I love this paper. And just, I have to decorate the top. I just made like these little pamphlets to go in these big pockets and started pulling out, out of that paper pack, the colors that matched. Um, uh, here is the leftover faux paper. These I sew because I don't, and this is just backed on an index card. So I can decorate that. And the reason why I do this not liking this too much. Um, and so I can gauge the thickness. See, I still have to put something there. I got those. I still have to put something there. I got one there. I still have to put something there. Here's another one of those papers that I backed up on some coffee dye. We'll talk that I can add an envelope or something have another pocket here here's a larger tie um, I pulled this out I'm not sure if I like it yet so that's why I left it <laughs> I think it's just a little too bright for me so I still have some pockets to fill back here but the reason why I do that is because it lets me um, gauge the thickness before I commit to sewing it in and I think I still have some room to grow. Yeah, I think I'm doing good. And um, that's how I, I kind of go through it. Just cut up all my ephemera and then just start. I paper clip them first. Then I look to make sure that they are even, that I don't have one just too much more than the other. I know I have to clip some stuff on the top um, to distribute some of the bulk but that's it that's how this is where I'm at um, but if you want to see it it comes together really quick believe it or not um, let me know I'll do it for you guys maybe one or two videos on how I um, or maybe we could just do a journal from start to finish you let me know all right so this is where I'm at with my cozy full harvest I hope you guys are all um, often crafting and preparing for the holidays um, November and December are a blur um, with Thanksgiving and being able to spend time with our families and then celebrating the holidays um, I can't believe this year's almost done it's almost gone all right everyone take care stay blessed make sure you run over and uh, to my coffee shop and get your Christmas memories um, this is the regular junk journal one. I do have the tall and skinny on sale um, or reduced price uh, for the duration of um, of this uh, kit that I'm offering for free. All right, everyone. Let me know if you got it. Let me know if you love it. I do. And I'm still, um, I'm finishing up the green version of this. Very similar, but just in those soft green tones. All right, take care. Stay blessed. Have an amazing week, and I'll see you real soon.